Zira's looking for you didn't seem too happy. Nothing you did. She's just stiffer than normal. Well, that's saying something. You know of our botched raid on Magnifica Falora's tomb. But the Iron Wheel is here to recover her missing dowry. So, if we didn't take it, who did? Zira wants answers. She's in the den. Go on, now. You know where to find Zira. Always staring at papers in the den she is. I know Zira doesn't like to talk about it. Lost the best of the guild to that folly. Nicholas thought he could steal Magnifica Flora's dowry from her family tomb. Nicholas was wrong. Everyone died but Zir. For a guild master, he should have known better than to bet everything on a single haste. Best you don't repeat that to Zir. Someone pinned the blame on the guild. He used to think the Iron Wheel wanted revenge for us trespassing in Magnifica Falora's family tomb. But Chief Inspector Ranbik is after the missing dowry. You heard it yourself. No idea who really took it. No idea why. You think I know a lick about dowries? You trying to flirt from me? A dowry is like a bar tab. It's the promise of available drinks, not the drinks themselves. But if there was no tab, why would anyone go to that bar, you see? Good, that's one of us. Back to the tomb? <laughs> Your plan is to relive the guild's greatest failure? My plan is to get the Iron Wheel's boot off our necks. Have you heard Zira's plan to kill off her own thieves' guild? Go on, ask her. I'll wait. Good, you're here. I want to learn whether Magnifica Falora's dowry was truly stolen from her family tomb. If it was, we find out who did. And if it wasn't, we complete the heist that Nicolas began. <laughs> What's she gonna do? Send a second iron wheel? We return to Aldenobia tomb, bypass the deadliest traps I've ever encountered, and then scour the treasure vaults for anything we can find. <laughs> I appreciate the confidence, but too many good people died there the first time. We do this right, or we don't do it at all. Perseus Lope can give us an edge. He's one of the few living people to set foot in Magnifica Falora's family tomb. Take Quen and collect him from his shop. Meet the rest of us on the road to Tanith by Prince's Gate. I guarantee Perseus Lope is no friend of the Iron Wheel. He's expecting you at the Diamond Thimble. And he'll be insufferable if you keep him waiting. Perseus Lope once served Magnifica Falora. When she wore the clothes he designed, she was the envy of Tanith society. But there was a scandal, and he fled here, beyond Tanith's reach. I don't know exactly what happened, but I do know he blames her. She's the heir to the Aldenobia bloodline. Her eldest sister, Zarifa, wed King Faharajad. After Zarifa's death, Valora and the king grew close. But not... close. They call her the Jewel of Tanith, 
Beautiful, cold, and hard as diamond. Nicholas thought his plan to steal the dowry was almost flawless. But almost won't bring our friends back. He didn't have the right people for the job, but I do. Nicholas knew of the dangers within, but not everything. There was a trap. We... I didn't understand how it worked. Not until it was too late. But this time, I know how it works, and I'll need you by my side to defeat it. Off to find Percy's Lake. Meet you there, partner. Everyone else, pack for a long journey. I'll bring us home safe and sound. More promises you can't keep. This plan is unwise, a bit dangerous, but it isn't entirely reckless. As thieves, those are often the best plans we can have. This is folly, all of it. But if I come along, perhaps half of us will survive our certain doom. I didn't think it was possible to think less of Zira. And here she finds a way.
This one shall lodge a formal complaint. What right has the Iron Wheel to march in here and smash our merchandise? Thugs. Thugs and hooligans! That's exactly what the Iron Wheel said. But much louder and with the shaking of fists. When they bellowed his name, I heard a loud crash upstairs. A distraction, of course. The Iron Wheel rushed upstairs as he slipped down through some loose floorboards. But he landed feet first in a tub of bright dye, covered his boots to the brim. That's also what the Iron Wheel said. Most of them gave chase. The rest tossed the room upon the floor and then gave chase. If you find him before they do, tell him Mamea deserves a raise. You follow Loke's trail on the street. I'll see if I can spot him from the rooftops. Hurry! What do you want? Hurry! The Iron Wheel are on his trail! Someone in need? A friendly face. Good of you to join me on my unexpected jog. And I agree, this isn't my color. They must know of my previous involvement with your guild, though I can't begin to fathom how. Your former guildmaster, Nicholas, was it? He was the soul of discretion. And I am prepared to give Abar's landing a wide berth. I'd prefer to avoid the Iron Wheel, at least for the time being. Zira mentioned a rendezvous by Prince's Gate, was it? I'd feel safer were someone to escort me there. Perseus Loke? I'll get you to Prince's Gate, safe and sound. Would you happen to have a spare set of boots? I don't think mine will fit you. Come along, we'll work something out. I forgive my enemies, but I never forgive them.
Everyone's accounted for. Did you have any trouble? Then we leave for the Kingdom of Tanith. The route is tricky and we'll be considered bandits if we're caught. But getting to the tomb isn't what worries me. If anything happens, well, it won't. Because I can count on you. Ready? What about it? Devious traps, vicious guardians, and likely, at the end of it all, a vault full of dust. At least we won't have to worry about the Iron Wheel. I'd rather sit in the den with a bottle of wine and drink until Andari says I've had too much. But I'm in charge, so it doesn't matter what I think. It matters that we go. I may, there is an alternate path inside the tomb. It is likely full of traps, guardians, and prodigious quantities of dust. <laughs> A small price to avoid the iron wheel. Head to the tomb entrance. Keep watch to the side of the path, the right side. You should notice an old trail leading to a sealed entrance. Simply clear the way, and I shall join you to open the door. Oh my! No. The things inside would most certainly kill me. I do know the trick to the door's hidden latch. The rest, I'm certain you can handle yourself. Oh, for once I'd like to travel to a remote location and not find the Iron Wheel. I would avoid engaging the Iron Wheel at all costs. Perhaps find some other way to slip into the tomb. But you are not I, and the world is better for it. For instance, I could never make those pants work. See how the Iron Wheel litters their camp with traps? Or perhaps you don't. Try not to die out there. The last time I was here, the Iron Wheel wasn't camped in front of the tomb. Scout ahead and find us a way inside. Clear the way if you care to. The Iron Wheel can't exactly call for reinforcements. You could also sneak past them. We'll track your progress and follow in your footsteps. That's why we brought Perseus Loke. He said something about a side entrance. Speak with him before you go. For traps in there. The Yokudins did love their traps.
Zira. She knows how to do everything in this place. Unless it's stealing a dowry. No idea. Last time, Nicholas had me watch the passage behind us. There must be something in his journal. Anything useful? Nicholas loved his puzzles. You're welcome to try. You were instrumental in crushing the Daggerfall army at Devon's Watch.
Well done. Come on, let's go.